mass clocker numerical analysis numerical solution of ODE ODE means ordinary differential equation second order RK method for first order ODE means first order ordinary differential equation YouTube channel mass clocker provide you easy mathematics techniques whatsapp number email address my name is Saeed Ahmad Shah I am professor in quest Nawab Shah Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Lungkurta method this is a second order Lungkurta method RK method means Lungkurta method here is a first order differential equation dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y comma y of x naught is equal to y naught this is the initial condition that differential equation with initial condition this is called the initial value problem x between a and b solution by second order rk method means rk means runkurta method here is the runkurta method yn plus 1 is equal to yn plus half times k1 plus k2 comma xn plus 1 is equal to xn plus x here we have a k1 plus k2 means two parameters this is called the second order the value of k1 is equal to h f of xn comma yn the value of k2 is equal to h f of xn plus h comma yn plus k1 question use second order rk method to solve dy by dx is equal to x plus y this is a first order differential equation comma y of 0 is equal to 1 this is the initial condition so this is called the initial value problem in the small length of the interval x between 0 to 0 0.1 taking the step size h is equal to 0 0.02 solution f of x comma y is equal to x plus y this value is f of x comma y from the general format of the problem here we have a general format f of x comma dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y so similarly dy by dx this value is f of x comma y replacing x by xn y by yn why because the formula is given in the form of a xn and y so we can write f of xn comma yn is equal to xn plus yn n means number of iterations or you can say number of pieces we can divide the length 0 to 0 0.1 in n pieces according to given condition this value is b 0 0.1 last value of the interval or starting value of the interval is this is called say a so substituting the value here b is 0 0.1 a is 0 divided by the step size 0 0.02 say 5 equations so n the value of n equal to 5 so we can divide this uh, small n into 5 pieces or you can say we will have to solve the problem up to 5 equations 0 to 0 0.02 add this value then 0 0.02 plus 0 0.02 0 0.04 then add this 0 0.06 then add this then we can get the 0.1 counting here 0 1 2 3 4 5 so you will have to uh, run the equation 0 to 5 yn plus 1 is equal to yn plus half times k1 plus k2 comma xn plus 1 is equal to xn plus h this is for the second order rk method k1 is equal to h times of f of xn comma yn according to mapping f of xn comma yn xn which is the same comma convert in the form of a plus yn which is the same so we can say h the value of h is 0 0.02 placing here or the value of f of xn yn placing here so we can write 0 0.02 times xn plus yn for the value of k2 second parameter this is equal to h times of f of xn plus h comma yn plus k1 according to mapping uh, before the comma the first value which is the same comma convert into plus second value which is the same like the same as xn plus h which is the same this comma convert in plus yn plus k1 which is the same the value of h is 0 0.02 substituting here this value is same comma convert into plus or this value is same 
form the table number of iterations k1, k2, xn, yn. For zero iteration, there is no k1, no k2. For the zero iteration, the value of xn comes from the initial condition. This is called the x0. When we are placing here zero in place of n because n is zero, so x0 placing a 0, y0. At the 0 iteration, the x and y will be x0, y0. So, it comes from the initial condition, this is 0 or this is 1. So, we can write in place of xn is 0, in place of yn is say 1. For the 0 iteration, the first value of x and yn comes from the initial condition. For the first situation, substituting this value xn is equal to 0 in the formula k1 placing here, yn plus 1 placing here, then simplify it. So we have a result 0 0.02. For the value of k2, placing xn value 0 here, yn 1 the value of k1 is 0 0.02 here then simplify it we have result 0 0.020800 substituting the value of xn is 0 here or h is 0 0.02 then we can get the result 0 0.02 let's see here comes substituting this value starting from 0 then comes here 0 0.02 placing the value of k1 in the Euler formula values of k2 in the Euler, uh, sorry in the rk formula the values substituting k2 in rk formula and the value of yn placing here then simplify it we have a result 1.020400. For the second iterations, substituting the value 0 0.02 or 1.0240 in place of it, then simplify it. So we have a k1 value. For the value of k2, substituting the value 0 0.02 here, 1.0204 y n here or k1 value 0 0.020808 here then simplified we have a result k, k2 substituting the values of k1 and k2 here and uh, y n 1.020400 here then simplified before simplification putting 0 0.02 here h is 0 0.02 then we have a 0 0.040 and substituting the values for the yn substituting value of k1 here k2 here or uh, yn from here uh, from this value we can put in place of yn then simplify it we have a result of yn now we are completing 0 0.04 now we are coming 0 0.06 how we can say for the third iteration, substituting this value xn here, yn here, then simplify it, we have a result k1. Similarly, substituting the value uh, xn here, yn here, or k1 here, 0 0.021632 placing here, then simplify it, we have a result k2. Now the substituting value of k1 k2 or yn then simplified so we can get the yn before getting the yn substituting the this value 0 0.04 here at the step size here then we can get 0 0.06 similarly k1 placing here k2 placing here yn placing here then simplified we have a 1.063 double six size this procedure again repeating substituting the value 0 0.06 here 
1.063665 here then simplified so we have result k1 similarly placing xn value 0 0.06 here yn 1.063665 here and k1 is 0 0.022473 here then we can get the k2 for getting the value of xn placing 0 0.06 here h is 0 0.02 here so it will become 0 0.08 now substituting value k1 here k2 here uh, yn is 1.063665 here then simplified we have reserved this 1.086563 now convert the 0 0.08 now comes on substitution placing the value 0 0.08 here 1.086563 here then simplifies then we can get the value of k1 similarly placing 0 0.08 in place of xn 1.086563 in place of yn on place of k1 substituting 0 0.02 double triple 3 1 here then simplifies we can get the value of k2 0 0.08 placing here in place of xn 0 0.02 is the step size so it will become 1 0 0.1 uh, then substituting the values of k1 in the formula k2 in the formula or uh, yn 1.086563 placing here then simplified we have result 1.110327 so we have these points 0 0.1 0 0.02 1.0204 0 0.04 0 1.04 1.0416 0 0.06 1 1.0063 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 0.04 1.04 1 uh, 41616 similarly 0 0.06 the height is 1.063665 similarly 0 0.08 the height is 1.086563 0 0.1 1 1.0063665 1 1 0 so this is the small length of the interval it must be a straight line in the short length of the interval if we are taking the graphical solution it will be a straight line so let's see here 0 height is 1 0 0.02 height is 1.02 uh, 0 0.04 the height is 1.041616 let's see here 0 0.06 the height is 1.063665 let's see here similarly 0 0.08 the height is 1.08655 let's see 1.0865 similarly 0.1 the height is 1.1103 so this is the solution so we are solving the problem initial value problem in the uh, smallest length of the interval when we second order method rk the red line shows the second order rk method or blue line shows the analytic solution the analytical solution this is a linear equation when we are using the analytical technique so then we can get the solution the graph of the uh, analytical solution shows the blue line and the red line shows the, the solution by using the rk method so you are showing the these two lines blue and red are parallel so it is the best technique when we are solving the first order differential equation with initial condition in the smallest length of the interval rk method is a good method second order rk method is a good method when we are using the uh, smallest length of the interval this method is is also as compared to the Euler's method is a good method 
when we are increasing the length of the interval 0 to 10 so you are seeing here you are watching here okay blue lines represent the analytical solution and the red line shows the numerical solution by second order rk method this is overlapping when we are taking the large length of the interval 0 to 100 so it may be error comes so removing this error we are reducing this sorry reducing this error we will have to use the fourth order rk method the next lecture will be on the topic of the fourth order uh, rk method and all the lectures